Hi, it's uh, Danny here for Veda Day 14. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do the whole Veda thing. Uh, I'm a little over it. <laughs> I'm actually a little over Veda. I'm so tired and just like the set setting up, which seems interest easy enough. Like, okay, you put your camera, you get a lamp or something. You figure out what your background's going to look like. Make sure you're not angling it towards the messes that could exist in your home or space. And you have to think about what you're wearing and how you're wearing it and all that. And you could tell I didn't really pay too much attention to it because you're looking at my sofa, my disheveled sofa, and I'm wearing a tank top, my sleep shirt, um, my hair's messed, I barely have lipstick on. Um, it's It's... Veda's hard. I think Veda is super hard. Um, but that's not why I'm here. Um, this tiredness alone, I'm here to talk about uh, the workshop that I participated in, that I am participating in for the next couple of weeks, being held at the Poets House in um, New York City, downtown by the Freedom Towers. Sorry, that is my cat, and he may get loud, and I'm not editing it out. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. Um, I'm not going to really talk about the professor, because honestly, I don't really remember her full name, and I don't really remember the full name of the workshop, but the point of the workshop is to um, kind of motivate you to write, but not take yourself so seriously, so there is a playful, childish approach to writing. The last, um, the first workshop we looked at um, an essay, and I forgot who the essay was written by, um, but this person was uh, conducting an interview with children and comparing, you know, like five year, well, not five year old, but ten year old writing versus, sorry, who is texting me? Uh, Ten-year-old writing writers versus you know teenagers like 15, 16, 17 year olds and how ten-year-old writers have this ability to put together phrases and sentences that are so poetic and so um, central and I don't mean central in the sexual matter but I mean central in terms of touch, feel, taste, scent, sound like they could they bring words together organically without even thinking about how, you know, not over analyzing. And I think, and I guess the workshop, this this particular um, session was to show you that over analysis or your inner critic can prevent you from really getting, um, cutting out poems and cutting out successful um, phrases, successful poetry. So it was really, really fascinating. And I don't know if it's fascinating to anybody else. Um, the book we're using is called, um, this is the book, What It Is um, by Linda Berry. You probably can't see it because of the glare. Oh, mm -mm. There you go. It's, but you can't see it because it's flipped anyway. Anyhow, uh, this is the strangest creative writing book I've ever seen, and I, I have many. Um, it's like a comic book. It has animation and phrases and such a lovely, playful approach to the art of writing and how you construct images and, I guess, use words to describe the images. So it's really interesting. And um, I'm also reading just for my own pleasure or my understanding or, you know, for my craft, actually. Um, the Artist Way, A Spiritual Path to Higher Creativity. Oh, you can't see that because it's on my iPad by Linda Cameron. And um, so far, so good. She It really is a, a spiritual approach where it's kind of a mix of, you know, faith with, like your creativity is attached to a higher being, um, whether you believe in God, Yahweh, um, et cetera, et cetera. We're not even going to go there because that's religion's always a heated topic. But when you are in tune with your creativity, you are in tune with the higher source. And in fact, almost as if you're living your purpose by um, being a creative and being 
in tune with it. I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive. I'm so sleepy. But ah, we're hitting the five minute mark and we are past 10.30 and 10.30 is my bedtime. Yes, over 30 problems, hashtag. Um, so I'm gonna go to sleep and figure out who is texting me at 10.30 at night. Like, don't they know me by now? They should know I'm asleep. Anyhow, I will see you tomorrow for beta day. Um, oh my God, 15. Uh, I think I'll do something fun like a tag or something cuz or you could eat, maybe you could meet my cat. He's on the floor right now looking just like <laughs> he looks how I feel. Right, fatty? Yeah, he doesn't even want to meow. It's funny when you want him to meow, they don't meow. And when you don't want them to meow, they meow, 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 meow. Don't you, baby? Yeah, now he's looking at himself. Okay. So, um, I will see you tomorrow for Veda Day 15. Um, have a good night.